This is going to be a review of the FSDS diagnostic software for Deutz engines developed by RS Enterprises. Here we're starting up the program. You can see we've got our tech tips on the page. This is basically a list of what has changed since the last version. So this will be displayed on the screen. We can use these shortcuts over here to view some of the different changes. Now we're looking at the main page of the software. We can tell by looking at the title of our tab, FSDS Main. <clears throat> From this page, we can view all the different electronic systems that we can work with. And as we hover our cursor over each one of these systems, you'll notice it provides us with a list of engines that support this particular electronic system. So let's start off with EMR3. EMR3 is typically used on the common rail engines found in the Tier 3 emissions category. And again, just like on the first page, we can hover our cursor over the different icons, or buttons here, and notice it gives us a description of what's found in each area. The online option is not currently available. It's something that's still being developed. So let's go ahead and we'll look at fault codes. So this is going to be a list of all the different fault codes that are available for this particular electronic system. Now you'll notice the codes are broken down into three categories. We have the Deutz codes. This is what you would find if you were to use the Deutz diagnostic software known as Certia. The SPN code is what you would receive via CAN bus. And then the blink code, which is what you would receive via the flashing fault lamp. Now rather than scrolling through all this, which would take some time, we'll hit Control F as in Foxtrot, type in the code we're looking for, and then hit Enter. Now each time we hit enter, it's going to highlight any reference to fault code 208. So we'll hit it a second time, and now we're looking at a description of this particular fault code. So this one is for the rail pressure relief valve in the fuel system. And you can see it gives us just a brief error description, error detection, possible error reason. And we can click on this, and now we're viewing a more detailed bit of information about this particular fault code and how it's generated. And again, we can click here, hit allow, and this is the diagnostic flow chart for this particular fault code. Now notice that as I've opened up, <coughs> excuse me, these different pages, it opens up different tabs, which means we can backtrack by clicking on our first tab. And from our first tab, we can access other information. For example, tasks. So in tasks we can view common things <clears throat> that you would have to do with the Deutz electronic system. So in this case we'll look at save error memory. And what we're presented with is a video of the Deutz Certia software being used to save a copy of the error memory from this ECU. Now down at the bottom we have our typical buttons associated with the video. We have a play button, a pause button, which is what I just used, and a stop button we hit the stop button, what's going to happen is we're going to go all the way back to the beginning of the video. If I hit the pause button, it stops right where we uh, currently are, allowing me to hit the play button to continue. So this way I can jump back and forth between the FSDS software and the Deutz Certia software. And again, it's opened up a new tab to do this, meaning I can backtrack through the previous pages. Another area we have is wiring. So here we have the wiring schematic for this particular engine. And again, we can still backtrack. In one other area, our pin location or pin assignments. And just like our fault codes, we can hit Control F, type in the sensor or component that we're looking for. In this case, boost pressure. And again, hit Enter, and it will highlight each instance of that particular component. So in this case, our boost pressure sensor reference voltage is on terminal 14. Our sensor ground is on terminal 23. And our sensor signal is on terminal 40. So we'll go ahead and close these until we get back to this page. Now from any page within FSDS, if we want to return to our main page, we simply click on the logo. So here we are back on our main page. <clears throat> now one of the new options for this particular FSDS version being 2013-3 is the search option. The search option is only available from the main page. 
Once we click on it, it opens up another tab, meaning we can move back and forth. And from here, we can basically bypass all the different steps we used to obtain information on code 208. So I'll type in 208, hit enter. And these are all the different pages that relate to this fault code. So we can click on this one, EMR3 code 208, hit go. And again, brings us right over to what we were looking at before. The other thing we can search for would be a symptom. So let's say we had an engine that was uh, suffering from black smoke. Hit enter. These are any faults or any pages that would be related to black smoke. We could do other searches. Let's say we want to find the manual for FSDS. Type in manual. That will bring us to the FSDS help page. which is also uh, accessible from the main page. So here on FSDS main, we have the help button. Click on it, and we have a couple different things that would be useful. Down at the very bottom in the left-hand corner, we have our current FSDS version information, 2013-3, that is the latest version. We have the operating manual for FSDS. This will walk us through using the program, troubleshooting the program in case of issues, navigation, different features. Middle button is going to be to check for updates or download FSDS. So this brings us to the FSDS website. Here's where we would download, check for updates, again the user manual, and also view a video tour of this program, which is what we're doing right now. And finally, the bottom option is going to be for registration of the software. If you register the software, you will be uh, added to a list of people that will receive email notifications of updates for the FSDS software. And to register the software, all you have to do is type your name here, <clears throat> company name, any information, uh, such as how you found FSDS, any questions or comments on the software, and then use this drop-down to select register uh, FSDS. And what will happen is this will generate an email using your default email program. And that email will simply contain the information you've entered here along with the code from the FSDS software. Another helpful section is going to be tools. Under tools we have general en engine information, general support information, and electronics. We'll start off at the, uh, at the top here. Under general engine information we have our shim calculator for the 1012, 1013, 2012, and 2013. We have it for several other engine models as well. <clears throat> and what this calculator does is it allows us to calculate the shim thickness required during replacement of an injection pump on this engine. And to do so, we require a code from the data plate called an EP code. In this case, we'll use 31. We need the code off of the replacement pump, in this case 73. We hit calculate. It gives us some verification numbers, an LK, LO, or basic dimension, and then the result, which is 1.01. .01. That would be in millimeters. Now that result needs to be rounded. <clears throat> but again, it gets you in the ballpark. If you put in invalid information, it will let you know. So in this case, I've added a decimal in an area where it doesn't belong, and it will tell me to remove the decimal point. We also have common conversions. Down below that, under general support information, we have different links to the Deutsch service websites. And then under electronics, we have some schematics that would assist us in communicating with different Deutsch ECUs. So this particular schematic allows us to connect to each of the different ECUs at a desktop in an office environment instead of relying on us to be connected to a piece of equipment. And again, from any page within FSDS, we simply click on the logo to return back to our main page.